Welcome back to my channel, my take on how to, and today we're making organite pyramids and uh, leftover, I make some pretty feathers in my new mold there. So I did prepare the resin, and when you work with pyramids, first thing is you get the tip established. And we have to work the tip a little bit because we have to remove any kind of air bubble. And as you can see down there, there's always a little air bubble right in the tip of the pyramid. So organite pyramids are basically um, resin sculptures. Pyramid shape because it has apparently the most um, beneficial for the energy accumulation and um, the resin represents the organic part of an organite and then we have to add quartz any kind of quartz can even be cheap quartz I guess but you know the nice clear one is of course much prettier and we have to <clears throat> add metal so this is two principles that are combined in a organite pyramid pyramid. The one is the um, principle discovered and described by Willem Reich. That's where the name organ energy comes from. And the idea is that that sculpture, structure, whatever, um, accumulates the good life energy. And the other principle has the piezo um, theory behind it and that is that when quartz is under pressure it will produce some electricity which is most commonly used in your gas stove igniter and um, here in that pyramid is basically same thing it collects negative energy and turns it into positive so that's the theory behind it um, for myself I did notice a difference once I had some of those pyramids in my house and especially beside the bed but it's up to each and one of us to find out for themselves I guess okay so I removed the bubble in the tip and I will place my metal wrapped copper wrapped quartz point okay uh, looks like it will it will stay up there you go and the other one I think a beautiful ring which only fits me on my pinky so might as well find a better use in here and this is silver So I also have some shungite pendants I will put in here as well. Whoops, stay there. That one for the other side. Alrighty. And if this one fits, I have no idea. Uh, Yeah, that looks like they get along with each other. So for this one, I will wait until the first layer is set before I add my metal balls and I just using some BBs. And the little one, just for demonstration, I will fill right away. And that, of course, is a metal part, right? I'm holding my ring so it doesn't... <laughs> and it does. Okay, you got to put some on the other end. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I got to... Okay, that's enough for this one. The rest I want to use in a big, bigger pyramid. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, we just top her up. And of course, the more metal you have in there, the more powerful the pyramid's supposed to be. <laughs> also, it's a little bit cheaper because you need less resin. And I have tons of resin left, so oh well. I always make too much. Okay, let me make sure they stay down. Okay, <clears throat> now, well, we had the point where we to mix up some some paint, some colored resin for. So we'll make some white and um, we will make some turquoise. And we'll come back when I have that all good to go. So my camera turned itself off and what I have done, I have started my feathers and they're, they're, they're gonna be beautiful. They're looking really nice already. Um, This is a mobile mold and uh, I, I found it on Amazon and I really loved it because of this really neat feathers you can make with it also. I do have some ocean themed pendants from previous um, pours and I was going to mount them on the mobile and that's why my bar here that's going to hold all the pieces I try to do a little bit ocean themed so I will show you the end results then